What's up, friends and family from around the world? This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on October 11th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to The Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well as earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here looking at our sun. Don't mind that little glitch there. Did have a little bit of a calibration with the SDO satellite. No major solar flares, but watching some plasma filaments, especially in the last few images here. Watch on the left-hand side, right-hand side, and both pol polar regions. Amazing images here with Solar Dynamics Observatory observing our sun in solar cycle 25. Getting ready to ramp up solar maximum in full effect. Having a look at the last 48 hours outgoing. There was a strong M-class solar flares. Fiery sunspot region turning away. Plasma filament there on the right-hand side. Amazing stuff. Looking at multi-spectrum here. Pointing out the coronal holes and as well the most recent events on our sun. Wow. That was a massive X-class solar flare that put us into a severe geomagnetic event. Coronal holes helping increase the wind speeds, I'm sure. We're still up and over 600 kilometers per second as we speak. Amazing photos and videos of the Aurora Borealis. Thank you so much, everybody, on social media websites for sharing with the do daily events worldwide. I appreciate it, and it's pretty awesome to be able to experience as far south where we are. And these Aurora Borealis are being seen as far south as California. So, crazy days ahead. Six sunspots, earth-facing right now. And here they are in motion. Current space weather conditions, we are under level four. Strong, severe geomagnetic storm impacts are prevalent right now. And it says here, Aurora has been seen as low as Alabama, Northern California, typically at a 45 lat. Solar winds are coming in at 638 kilometers per second right now. Solar X-ray flux showing a strong, a couple strong M-class solar flares the last two days, but five of them collectively. Solar proton flux hopping right up into the S3, S4 range, and KP hopped up to a 9, and that was visible all across the northern skies last night. And as well, Australia, amazing images coming out of Europe. Fascinating cosmic energies invading our planet right now. Having a look at our geospace magnetosphere, that was our solar wind. Having a look now at our pressure as the next wave is impacting us right now. This is showing the last three hours of imagery. October 11th, 2024. And as well here, we don't normally show this, but this is the density. So that would be the cosmic charge particles that are involved with this wave of geomagnetic activity. Darker blue is being higher density. Looking at tonight's Aurora for, uh, view line, will be visible, very prevalent yes, yet again, but not as bright as tomorrow, or sorry, as it was last night and tomorrow night, definitely dimming down. But looking up across Canada, you will see the northern lights. Having a look here at the last, or sorry, this is the next hour forecast. So as soon as nightfall comes, they're still going to be under the G4 geomagnetic event. From incoming coronal mass ejections. Amazing stuff, everybody. Plasma filament eruptions, solar flares. Sun is definitely putting on a show. Space Weather Prediction Center here. They have not updated their spiral, but this is the CME that we are impacted by. And looks like we're in the clear for a little while. But tonight it will be prevalent yet again. That is the CME that shot out from our sun. And here's a sizable backside CME taking off towards Mercury. 
And here is our most recent ISWA space prediction spiral. No new CMEs to report as of yet. Last go three images in the last little bit are showing some signatures of yet another coronal mass ejection. So we've had Mercury in view this week. We've had Comet Atlas scooting by our view, and it is just about to leave, still observing its amazing tail and multiple coronal mass ejections and cosmic energy coming at us. Now let's get to earthquakes. The past 24 hours, USGS is reporting about 220 earthquakes, which is right around average. Deepest earthquake being the one that struck yesterday at a 547 kilometer depth, Lavuka, Fiji, Papua New Guinea, 4.960 kilometer depth, some deep earthquakes, northern Indonesia, active volcanoes through the region, notable earthquakes here, Afghanistan, 176 kilometer depth, 4.9, Myanmar, Shwebo, and as well a 4.8 here reported Amasra, Turkey. 10 kilometer depth 4.5 here reported off the coast of Kamchatka starry Russia and earthquakes are still piling up across the Aleutian Islands and into Alaska Chase Alaska reporting a 4.5 today that's a very sizable earthquake towards Anchorage and as well Kaktovik Alaska seeing an earthquake a swarm there in Aktovik Port Warford Oregon reporting a 3.1 there Juan de Fuca Plate, stove type, stovetop wells with a 3.4, largest across California state. Notable earthquakes here, 4.7 and 4.3, Honduras. Caribbean Plate, seeing a lot of activity as of late. Heads up, my friends. South American Plate, not, not much to report. South Sandwich Islands, reporting a 5.0. There is our largest earthquake the last 24 hours. So, a couple more deep earthquakes waiting for, and then we're going to be watching across the Pacific, all this increased activity into Alaska. There's got to be some watches and warnings going out by geologists. Having a look here, this is the last seven days for shakers across the planet. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in and subscribing to the channel, keeping aware and prepared with the rest of humanity. Pacific Plate, Alaska, and into Juan de Fuca. Heads up, everybody. Big one's coming. No fear here. Now let's have a look at our air quality forecast, brought to you by our active interrupting volcanoes, notable off of Kamchatka and as well the Aleutian Islands. And Mexico, pretty sizable eruptions coming out of Popopoketidol the last 24 hours. We're looking South America, Africa, and the Arab states. Notable eruption coming out of Etna. And lots of SO2 coming out of the African plate. Active volcanoes through Central Region and Johannesburg, in the Southern Region. We're looking Australia, Indonesia. As you can see, big eruption there, Indonesia, and as well, Guam region. Lots of sulfur dioxide coming out of there. Now let's have a look at our world weather forecast brought to you by Windy. Some intense low pressure systems are developing here for India on both coasts. And we'll be heading into Yemen for the long range. Overlooking North America, Europe, Central America. Strong low pressure systems on both coasts. As forecasted here with daily events worldwide and remnants of Hurricane Milton will be heading towards Portugal and France. And then watch as this system does produce some snow in the long range for parts of eastern Canada, Quebec and the Atlantic provinces. Overlooking Europe here, you can see multiple low pressure systems coming through the North Atlantic. And a lot of them are Atlantic hurricanes. Now let's have a look at our snowfall forecast. We're going to focus here on North America right away. You can see the snow is piling up in the long-range forecast. Northern Quebec, Newfoundland, 
and as well all across Alaska, northern BC, and even as far south as Colorado. The snow will be piling up here. The systems are changing. Cold winds from the north are starting to shift southward. The big polar vortex is setting up. Notable, over 200 centimeters of snow already falling parts of Alaska. Leave you here looking at the temperature forecast for the next 14 days. Big low pressure system north of the Hudson Bay responsible for some Arctic temperatures coming in the long range. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.